What happens if there's a change in the price of substitutes? Let's assume that skim milk and 2% milk are substitutes. Well, the price, if the price of skim milk falls, what's going to happen? Well, we assume that some people will go from consuming 2% milk to consuming skim milk instead. So what will happen to the demand for 2% milk? It's going to decline. And let's show that in blue. So here we have a new demand curve, which we'll call D2. So as before, the question is, are we still in equilibrium? Well, we know one thing. At $2, at $2, suppliers are still willing to supply 800 units. However, at $2, what about consumers? Well, consumers want considerably less. They want, and let's show this in red here, they want this quantity here, which we'll say is about 500 units. So now, consumers want 500 units, producers are willing to supply 800 units, so we have an excess supply of 300 units of 2% of milk. What's going to happen? Firms will have to lower their prices to get rid of the excess. So we're going to shift from an, inter, uh, uh, an equilibrium here on S1, D1, to an equilibrium here where S1 meets D2. And let's show that in yellow. So here's our new equilibrium quantity here. And here's our new equilibrium price here. And let's put some numbers to that. Let's say this is $1. And let's say this is a quantity of 725 units. So there we have it. Our old equilibrium here, $2 and 800 units. Our new equilibrium here, $1 and 725 units.